Capricorn, welcome to your monthly love prediction reading for the month of March 2021. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I appreciate your love and support. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it will not resonate with each and every one of you. Time is fluid, so this reading could resonate with you in the past, currently, or in the future. Capricorn, this is going to be a Catholic cross spread. Spirits and angels, please show me important accurate love messages for Capricorn for the month of March year 2021. Huh. Ace of Cups. When I was uh, when I was shuffling early on, it actually jumped down. Like Capricorn, you could have cut somebody off here in the past three of cups in reverse. I feel like a lot of you um, do not want to reconcile with this person from your past, okay? It looks like you are making a decision. You're choosing you. you choo you're choosing yourself with Ace of Cups here. Loving yourself, self-care, self-love is very important to you right now, I feel. This could also mean a new beginning in love. Maybe somebody is going to offer you a new cup of love here or you're offering it to someone. But a lot of you do not want to reconcile with this person from your past and I feel like you're doing the right thing. And the chair is in reverse so there is a stop being put in this connection. So initially it looked like it was going somewhere um, successfully but it, it just didn't, didn't turn out to be that way. Um, two of Wands in reverse. For some of you, it could have been a choice between two person, or that it could be a third party situation. Third party may not always mean another lover. It could mean, you know, uh, external, internal factors, friends and family who could have meddled into this connection. And you've got the Nine of Pentacles in reverse as well. So you could have been dealing with somebody whom either could be broke, no money, or Somebody, if it's not that, then somebody dishonest or disloyal, okay? Somebody whom could have cheated on you. I've got the nine of wands here as well, crossing the chariot here. This is why, because I feel like someone may not have been committed or that they've got this, this wishy-washy attitude, um, unreliable as well. Somebody very unreliable could be dishonest as well, okay? But I've got the ten of wands here, Capricorn. So you've been carrying this burden for a very long time or for as long as you've been with this person, okay? And Seven of Swords is here. You fear the most of people lying to you, cheating, and being very sneaky, okay? Um, but with the Four of Cups here, I feel like this is the this is actually part of the advice. I feel like Capricorn, Spirit's trying to advise to not accept this past person back, okay? <laughs> don't, don't accept it. Clarify, please. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Spirit's trying to tell you, learn already from your lessons from this person. You have already found out what they did. So the Hermit is in reverse. So you are coming out from, you, you've already been through that. I feel like a lot of you all right now, you're, you're, you're digging deep inside your soul and trying to figure things out and wondering what, what had happened or you're reflecting, soul searching. And I feel like with the Hermit here in reverse, after finding out about whatever this person has done, to you, what they, you know, they don't have the best character here. Definitely, I can see that. So, spirit is saying that you've already already learned that, you know, through through this experience, and you should know better not to accept this cup of love, because it does like maybe they may want to return with the King of Wands here, but Eight of Wands is in reverse. But so it does me indicate that this person may be bad news for you. Okay, this person may not treat you right. They're not going to treat you right with the Justice here in reverse. The Three of Cups, they still could. They could still be putting you in the third party situation right now. They could still be lying to you, okay? So it would be a good idea to not let this person come in, okay? But anyway, this is, you know, <laughs> I'm not going to tell you guys what to do. I'm just telling you what I'm seeing here. But it's completely up to you because, you know, free will is always at play. Everybody has their free will. And if you choose a certain direction, um, a certain path in your life, it's just going to change the outcome. So, But currently, what I'm seeing is this, all right? So we got the Ten of Swords here in reverse. Um, for the month of March, I feel like there could be somebody maybe wanting to return, maybe wanting to reconcile here, okay? But the advice from the Spirit is to not reconcile, okay? So 
So Capricorn, it does look like um, for the month of March, maybe someone will be asking for a second chance and somebody will be kind of indecisive about it, thinking about it, um, perhaps having to make a choice here. Three of Wands, again, this could be somebody feeling like they want to, that they're waiting for the right moment to, ma to make this choice or to, to return and to offer this Ace of Pentacles here, this new beginning but the temperance is in reverse. So I feel like although even if somebody was to, mm, I don't like that the temperance is in reverse. Again, I do sense that um, this offer of this new beginning from this past person may not be, may not be genuine, okay, may not be 100% genuine. Um, because through one still here, again, I do I do still see that this person may have the third party still hanging around, okay, somewhere. And the Wheel of Fortune reverse, like they, I don't think they have changed yet, okay. So you gotta really, really decide and you gotta really, really see for yourself and think thoroughly if you really want to return to this person. And temperance in reverse, um, maybe forgiveness is very hard to be given to somebody here. It's hard to forgive this person. Um, oh boy, sorry, my stopwatch just stopped <laughs> at 527 minutes. All right, so it's okay. I'm just keeping track of the time so I don't go overboard because I am very prone to going overboard. So you've got temperance here both in reverse as well. I feel like Capricorn in the month of March, um, I feel like there is still this sense of finding it very hard to forgive this person, whoever who has done you wrong. But for some of you also, there could be a completely new person coming in for you guys. Some of you only, okay? A new offer, a new beginning. But I feel like a lot of you are still finding it hard to, you know, move on from this past person. Or whether you have moved on or not yet, it's, you know, finding it very hard to get over it, as in forgiving this person, take some time to heal. I feel like self-care and self-love is very important for you guys right now. The High Priestess is already in reverse as well, Capricorn. So it does look like you have already seen things very clearly, right, of who this person is, um, what it is all about, Seven of Swords, <laughs> all this energy is not, I'm not a big fan, to be honest. You must have been dealing with somebody very sneaky, very dishonest, very unstable in many ways, shape or form here. So I'm truly not a big fan. Very important for you to practice self-love and self-care. This is how you can, you know, uh, elevate your vibration here. Um, with the Three of Pentacles, Capricorn, this to me has something to do with maybe either third party or somebody wanting to return and fix things with you. It does look like someone maybe trying to sneak their way back in, but I feel like a lot of you are unsure if they can if they have changed or that they will change or if this is going to happen again. Queen of Swords is here, so could have cut this person off after finding out the truth here. But I feel like um, Spirit is trying to say to just be really careful in regards to this person. They may not have changed completely yet, okay? So something that you need to be aware of in regards to this person and this energy. Just let's take one more here. Yeah, the world. Close out the old chapter and start a new one. It looks like there's a new beginning waiting for a new love commitment that's waiting for you. That's a gift from the from God, from above, from the universe, whatever you believe here. It looks like there's something waiting for you. It looks like the universe is gifting you a new beginning. Um, a love that is very um, honest, loyal, I feel committed. And all you got to do is close out the old chapter of the world here and don't return to this person from your past. And it looks like something really, really beautiful is going to happen to you when it comes to your love life. Okay. But anyway, don't take my words for it. You know, use your best judgment. Take care, Capricorn. This is your reading. I hope you resonated. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. Currently, I am accepting personal reading requests. My information is in the description box below if you'd like to book me. Nothing else. I hope to see you tomorrow as I've been posting videos almost every single day lately. Take care, Capricorn. Bye.